What's going on YouTube? Lockstyle TV back again with another video. So this video is going to be all about my um, my previous lock journey. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now. Uh, I've been wanting to make it since before I made this channel. Um, but yeah, I had I had um, locks back in. I started them back in 2018. I grew them from 2018 to 2019. I had them for 10 months. Um, but I made a lot of progress in those 10 months, and I did a I did a really cool method um, that that sped up the process quite a bit. So I'm gonna share that with you guys here. Um, <clears throat> But we'll, we'll start from, from, from square one, because I always begin from twisting with the sponge. This is how I do it. Um, <clears throat> but that's whenever my hair gets long enough to twist the sponge. This is what I start doing. So I, I started the sponge. I started with the sponge rub method. Um, once my hair got to about this length, actually, maybe a little shorter than this length, I um, I started taking, what I would do is I would grab, I'd find pieces, kind of like what I, what I was doing with the instant lock a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't actually know about the crochet needle at this point. So what I was doing was I would take two pieces right, right next to each other and I would twist them down really tight over and over and over again. And um, I would just get, and I would twist, twist them together. I'd, I'd find little ones and I'd take two and twist them together. And I would do that. I did that like when I was watching TV and I did that for like a month, like a month straight, um, maybe, maybe six weeks. Um, eventually I, my whole hair was done and they were starting to lock kind of, not really, but um, it looked like this. So that was the result of me just doing those little, they're like kind of like two strand twists, like messy two strand twists, I guess you can call them. Um, but yeah, so I did that. Um, and then I noticed that my hair was kind of starting to lock together and I was getting excited. So my next thing I wanted to do, cause I was watching, at this point I was watching YouTube. I was on YouTube, like, like nonstop looking up all these dreadlock channels. Um, discover some really cool pages um, that I still follow. And um, <clears throat> so I was like, cool, now I wanna try doing the, the twisting with gel method. So I bought the Jamaica and Mango and Lime Lock and Gel. You know, everybody uses the Jamaica and Mango and Lime Lock and Gel. So I bought some of that, got me some clips, and I twisted all my hair down and I did it all myself. So I started from the back and I just worked my way all the way up to the front. And here's what it, it looked like this. This is what it looked like. Um, kind of crazy, I know. And then the morning after, here's a, here's a picture of the morning after. So I, I saw this and I was like, oh, this is my hair. <laughs> like, I don't know, I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube and all the all the videos of them twisting their hair down that looked like perfect and mine just looked, looked crazy. I felt like I had worms all over my head. Um, and then here's a picture of the month, of the first month. So this is how my hair looked like the entire month after everything dried and it clips out. I was just rocking a hat most of the time, more do-rag and I just like, didn't show anybody my hair. So that wasn't fun. And then I washed my hair and it all stood up, looked like that. And that was kind of, I mean, the, it, you can tell that it's locked quite a bit more. Um, the hair was really starting to lock together, but I was like, I thought that like once I twisted my hair down and I kept, I didn't, I didn't wash it for a month either, but it was so nasty. And I was like, after doing all that, it's still standing up. Like, what's up with this? Like no, no progress has really been made. I couldn't just like, not even twisted it down, it probably would have locked about the same. Um, that's also kind of why I'm, I'm I'm not doing the whole retwisting thing right now. Um, because I feel like you gotta get some length before, um, or you gotta either get some length or go through just a really bad, like ugly stage before you really see an impact in your hair. So anyway, so I, I was like, I was like super let down, but I still twisted it again. I did another retwist myself. Um, the second one, uh, here's a picture. Uh, the second one actually looked. It came out. It came out way better than the first one. And, and after the second retwist, and I took the twist. I took the uh, uh, the clips out. I didn't even wear a hat when I went to work the next day. I was all pumped. I'm like my hair is falling down. It's looking good. Um, and then I didn't wash my hair. I didn't mess it because I didn't want to move. Because I was actually happy with my hair for once. And I felt like it was starting to like get some length. And I felt like I was making some progress. And then I washed it again. Um, oh, but we'll rewind a little bit. I didn't, I didn't wash it for like another month, and I just let it sit like that again. My hair was getting so nasty. Like I remember one point, like I was scratching my hair because it was itching, and I would like scratched it, and I looked under my fingernail, and there was like dandruff cake under my fingernail. It was disgusting. It was the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Like in my head, it was gross. Which is why I'm a big advocate of washing your hair, even when you when you're starting to get it to lock. Just wash your hair. It's gonna take time for it to lock, no matter what you do. Just keep it clean throughout the process, please. Um, anyway, 
So, so yeah, I, I washed it again and then stood up and it looked like this. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's wild. That's crazy, right? It was all, it was looking like kind of neat. Kind of like yeah, I was starting to have some dreads coming in. And then boom, stands straight up. Got some wild looking, I don't know. We got that some crazy like free foam look going on there. So I was actually at this point, I had made it up in my mind that, you know what? I'm not gonna retwist my hair myself every month spend like I don't know two hours in the bathroom doing this like your your arms are so tired like after that like they're up for like two hours straight like it's it's just not fun um so at this point I made the decision that I'm just gonna go semi freeform or I'm just gonna go freeform I don't know I was like I'm done twisting I just want locks and I don't care what they look like. It looks cool when it stands up. It looks cooler than it does when it's all shriveled and wormy looking. So I was like, I'm just gonna go semi free form or something. I'm done. And um, actually it's a funny story. So here we're still at this stage here. And um, I was working at T-Mobile at the time. And um, this dude walks in the store. He's got this like dope set of locks. Like they're probably like 15 years old. Like they're like down his back. Like they're they're <clears throat> they're in like two strand two strand twists, but they're like locked together, so they're just it, it just looks dope. And they got like this like cool like copper color to them, which he told me later on he had everything dyed his hair. The sun just bleached them because he had them for so long. Crazy, had they were this cool like brown color, and like they were just so dope. Anyway, so he walks so he walks in, and I'm like this this, this dude's hair is dope. And he looks at my hair, <laughs> and he's like, bro, you need some help. Come to my shop, and this dude has his own has his own um, his own shop where he does hair, and he gives me his card, and um, so I was like, he's like, I'll get your hair looking good, I'll get those locks tight, um, they'll be looking good. Just come see me, man. You need some help, and I was like, all right, I got you. Like I see you. His hair was his hair was looking dope. I was like, all right, I want my hair to look like that someday. Bam, I'm coming in. So I texted him, set up an appointment. Uh, came in and um, here's the before photo again. Here's the before photo again. Okay, so that, that was this was like I really went in like a week later, so my hair's still looking just like this. And he got my hair from that to this. That's crazy, right? Like, and and he did it by interlocking. Um, interlocking is so dope. So I have my I have my interlocking by hand video. He didn't do it by hand. He used the tool. It's called a latch hook, um, which does the same thing. It you, you loop your hair through the bottom and you do it a bunch of different ways and then when he did it he did it through the middle he did it like all up and down every single lock so it, it pulled him in tight because it, it just loops it in on itself over and over again and it's like tying a knot um tying little knots down your hair they kind of look a little like braids but they're not braids because your hair is just like twisted up um but it keeps them all really tight so the, the cool thing about interlocking is because when you're twisting down with gel if you go wash your hair after that your, your twister is going to unravel and come out the interlocks don't unravel, they don't come out. Um, when you do it all the way down, so it gets really tight and those are set in and they're there. They're they're not going anywhere at, at that point. So once once my hair got to this point, it was a wrap, it was going, it was just it was just growing from there. It was just growing and maturing from there. So and um, and now here's a picture just two weeks later, and you can see they already start, they already starting to look like locks. Like they they already got a look. That's a that's that's two weeks. Um, from when my hair was standing up, looking all sim all free for me and crazy, and then from there, boom! Now my hair looks like I like I just got some short locks. Um, so this was a really cool, really cool method for me, um, really satisfying method for me to to start my dreads and not have to, and and kind of I mean I didn't bypass the ugly stage because I went through that rough those rough two months, but I mean that it would have been a rough probably like six months if I just kept twisting. Um, or if I just did a little suit to my free form, I don't even know what, what, what the result would have been. So this this method, had, it, it did wonders for me, it did wonders for me. And what's cool is I started to feel like I was getting some length in after just the first month. So so that, so that you saw the picture of just after after two weeks, here's a picture after the first month. I look at that, that ponytail on the back is, is so much longer than it was originally. And the, the locks are really starting to come together, a little bit frizzy, they're a little bit frizzy. Um, and I, I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm like really picky about my hair and I went in and got another retwist um, with the interlocking, which I shouldn't have done. If you're getting an interlocking done, you don't need to get a retwist every single month. Those hold in for like two, three, four months. Like, I, I don't know, I, I didn't know though. And I, I just want, I want it to look perfect again. So I got another retwist, there's a picture. Looks a lot longer than it did the first time. 
Now here's another month, here's another picture from one month after that second retwist. Now it really got some land, it got a little bit of hang time. Now this is when my locks were really starting to look good. Um, I pretty much had complete confidence in my hair at this point. I was not worried about, I mean, I was out of the ugly stage. I was, my hair was just growing and was just maturing and I was, I was really liking that style that I was rocking to the side, had the kill monger look going on. Um, I, it was dope. Um, so right around this time, I was like, yes, I got locks, I'm in it now, I'm in it to win it. And then so my third retwist, I, I waited, um, I waited two months this time, which was like, that's like the soonest you should go get another one if you're doing the interlocking. But honestly, interlocking puts a lot of tension on your hair. So I don't even know if I recommend doing, if you're gonna do an interlocking method, I think it's probably better to, to do it the first time to get your hair just like locked in tight, um, like I did, so that you don't have, so that you can kind of bypass, you know, the getting them to lock on their own uh, budding and all that. I mean, they still butt a little bit, but I think the best way is to do the interlocking just once and then maybe twist some gel after that because you don't need it as bad. Um, but I didn't know at this time, and I'm, not, I'm loyal. Once I find a guy who's gonna take care of my hair good, I'll go back to the same person. This dude loved interlocking, so I'd let him do it. Um, <clears throat> but I, I really think that once once your hair gets to the stage that mine was at, at that point, you really should just twist with gel. Um, it's, it's not necessary to interlock there every single time. The results are great, but it's not necessary, and you get a lot, a lot, a lot of tension on your head, which in the long run is not good. You get thinning, you get balding, and your hair can come out if you have constant tension on your hair. Um, so you should either wait a, wait a lot more time in between the retwists if you're gonna interlock all the time, or once your hair is locked in, set, and you're happy with it, just twist with gel from then on. That's 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 what I recommend doing. Um, but anyway, so um, here's my third retwist, and I got the braids this time. Um, I was really starting to, to experiment a little bit. I wanted to do some different things, so I got the braille twist. Um, I love that style. When I get my hair gets long enough, I'm gonna do that too. I know how to do it on my own. Um, so, you know, stand by for some tutorials on that. Not anytime soon, my hair is clearly not long enough, but it's coming. So that was my third retwist with the braids. Now this time I waited um, a lot longer to get another retwist. I waited three months actually to, to get another retwist. So, <clears throat> and this was my final retwist. This was May, this was in May of 2019. This is about a month, maybe not even a month, maybe, maybe like two, three weeks um, before I cut them off, sad day. But um, so <clears throat> this is my hair three months after my, the retwist with the braids. Check it out, look at that drop. It's really coming together at this point. It was literally at the best stage that it had ever been in. It was looking so good at this point in time. Like check this out. And um, and then here's a picture right after that. I took that photo the morning before I went in to get the retwist. Now here's a picture of um, right after I got that retwist. Boom, like that's, that's money, like that's it. That was the goal, like that's where I was trying to get to. And, and it would have just kept a turn from there. So this is where my, my hair stopped. This is where my lock journey ended last time. And I really wish that I had kept going. I actually, when I was working at T-Mobile, uh, one of my friends there, he, we both started locking at the same time. And he still got his hair down to his shoulders now. And it's just crazy for me to think about like where my hair would be if I hadn't cut it at this point. Uh, but it's okay, the cool thing about hair is that it always grows back. So it's time for my second journey but I wanted to make sure I shared with you my first journey. Um, so you know where, exactly where I'm coming from. Um, and I hope to reach that point and then surpass it. That's the goal. Like always, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything to add, please put that down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you next time. Bye.